salute to you all. The brave never fall. There's been something on my mind that has been really unraveling like like crazy. And this is not like some of the other podcasts where it's a little more formal. This is a little loose. And I apologize if you can hear uh, the fans in the background. It's almost 80 degrees a day. I got the windows open. It's just feeling the wind and hearing all the sounds outside is awesome. And it's had me thinking a lot about um, life in general and when you start to hit that turning point when you hit a crossroads and I've talked about that a lot in the previous podcast about hitting the inevitable crossroads and usually when you get to that spot there's going to be something there that is going to have to be figured out for you in a big big way where it's going to be a big major decision regardless if you created that scenario for yourself or outside circumstances that you weren't in control of created that situation you still now have to deal with it and make the right choice and I always had a hard time doing that and now where i'm focusing on trusting myself a lot more i'm able to look at situations a lot differently than i used to in a much more confident and brave and bold manner being an alpha is not only about being a leader but it's also about leading yourself obviously it's about you being in control of what you can control if you can control something you should be in control of it i mean just masterfully in control of that element of your life that you if you are in a tailspin and you're out of control and you can't seem to get yourself out of you know leveled up again and, and not only get leveled out but actually still get to your destination you know if you're falling from the sky in a tailspin and you're completely out of control it's very difficult to even know where to start to regain control and not only that if you do regain control which which direction were you coming from and which direction are you going meaning you know, you got to know everything about that plane inside and out. The instruments, the horizon, uh, altitude, all that stuff has to be known for you to actually make it to your destination safely and with confidence. Because it's not only the destination and the journey, it's are you doing it confidently? And I've been having this thing that's been rolling around in my head and it's about being fooled by a lot of different things in life. Not just people, but we will talk about that. Being fooled, you know, they had to fool me once, fool me twice. That has been on my mind so much lately. And I've been thinking about how many times I've allowed life and people and things and places to fool me multiple times. And I feel like I'm just keep going back in that same direction. And the fooling can be you know just what that word says you just feel like a damn fool like a fucking fool who doesn't know what the hell he or she is doing and we all know what that feeling feels like when you feel like an absolute idiot because you believed in something or you wanted something or you were going hard as you possibly can to achieve to obtain and achieve a goal and you were right on the cusp of it and something happened where you should have seen it a mile away and it hit you right in the back of the head and you you realize in that moment Oh my goodness, I, I cannot believe I went this far just to get here and realize I have been deceived by so many things, by so many people, so many places, and I didn't see it. What happened? And I find it's the trusting yourself part of it that makes you feel like a fool. You trusted things that weren't really reality. You trusted things you were not in control of. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's where the risk taking in life comes in the play where you where you challenge yourself where you say okay i'm gonna take the risk and trust myself and i'm gonna do something that i've never done before and you may fail a hundred times and then get there but what we're talking about is is things that aren't reality that you are painting into reality that don't actually exist they only exist because you want them to but in reality they never did exist they aren't now and they never will and where do you draw the line between reality and trust and uh, some kind of a story that you created for yourself and trust and this is you know when we start talking about people who have real bad trauma you know they they trust that bad things that happened to them in the past may happen again or if you have a toxic person in your life you trust that that toxic person will always be toxic that they'll never be able to change in a lot of cases they aren't able to change Maybe you're the toxic person. Maybe you're the person with the trauma and you don't believe you can change. And that's that's hard 
to deal with. When you get to a destination, you realize you aren't as healed as you thought you were. You weren't as powerful as you thought you were. You weren't ready for the mission like you thought you were going to be. I think that when we're in life and we're trying to figure out all these things, it's important that when you realize you're trusting yourself, that that I'm going to make a fool out of myself element doesn't deter you. It doesn't make you walk away. You just have to put it in its proper context is what I've found. You have to find a way to make sure you understand that, yes, at any point, I can be fooled by anything, any person, place, or thing. I can fool myself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, but we break everything down into its smallest components with the brain of a fall. And when I got into the trust aspect of it, I realized I had power now to make sure that I wasn't swapping things in the, in the wrong spaces. You know, negative things I thought I was doing positive actually weren't that. They were completely swapped and vice versa. This is the opportunity for me, I thought, to actually become a person that is completely full of self-love and knows how to show up for myself first and lead myself first and be in control of myself first. And then accept the fact that it doesn't matter to me what all these things out here are capable of doing as far as fooling me. I trust myself to be able to recognize the things I am potentially being fooled by a lot faster now because I trust my instincts. What I've been practicing is that my gut feeling, don't ignore it. If it pops up where I start getting butterflies in my stomach and I start realizing there's a decision I'm about to make, I have made these decisions really quick. I've given them thought really quick is, is kind of a relative term really quick meaning depending on what it is i may give it hours thought i may give it days thought depending on the magnitude magnitude but it's definitely a lot shorter time than i used to give it i used to overthink everything and now i'm not doing that i'm not doing that at all i'll think about it and i'll make the decision that i think is best for me at that particular point in time as long as it's not hurting anyone if, as long as i'm not putting anything behind it that's going to be unfair to someone else just for my benefit and that it comes from a place of joy and happiness within me then i know i'm making the right decision because i'm not an evil person i'm not a person who's out as a narcissist to tear other people down and project my my unfair life and my unfair trauma upon other people my job is to make sure that I am covering all the bases for myself first. And if I can find joy and happiness in that moment and be and be content with the decision that I made by trusting myself, then inherently it's going to have an effect on someone else because I'm keeping it simple, I'm keeping it reasonable, and I'm not overthinking things. Now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna piss people off with what I come up with, but in the long run, I know I made the best decision for me and until that will help the people closest to around me people who really know you are going to understand what you mean when you're direct and assertive about who you are and that you being fooled is not an option at all and that people who try to deceive you and they try to put you into this ring of fire and leave you in there all by yourself butt naked with a, with no weapons and they start sending in every single thing that can hurt you in life at you you have the right to fight back the goal was not to get in that ring in the first place and have these people put you in a situation or have these things put you in a situation or have these places put you in this situation where you feel like you're out of control to the point where you are butt naked in a ring of fire with a bunch of shit in life crashing all down around you. Nobody controls your life. You control your own life. And if you can smile at the decision that you made and you know it came from a place of joy and happiness and positivity from within your soul, that you're content mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, that you know your decision ultimately is gonna help more people than it hurts, that you are raising the, your value, that more people are gonna invest in you just as you invested in them, and people are gonna treat you fairly because you're treating them fairly. The people who don't do that, they can take a long, long walk and kick rocks. You don't owe those people anything. You don't owe them a fucking thing. You only owe all of it to you first. Figure it out for you first. And that's what I've been learning. It's a powerful thing to trust yourself. You won't be fooled by many people, places, or thing, things after you trust yourself. And if no one has told you this today, I love you. You deserve to hear that. Salute to you all. The brave never fall.